Hi folks, in this video clip we are going to be discussing how to set up a WordPress blog when you're using GoDaddy as your hosting service provider. And the reason we're uh, showcasing GoDaddy here in this setup is because GoDaddy makes it extremely easy to set up a WordPress blog. So we're at the GoDaddy control panel and uh, we're going to go ahead once we're at uh, the GoDaddy control panel in our account, we're going to click on hosting and move down to my hosting account. We want to go in here and you will see uh, we have several different domains. We're going to select a domain here and we're going to go ahead and click on uh, manage account. And you'll see once inside here, we've got several different options to choose from. And what we want is to click on the Your Applications tab. And that's going to take us into the GoDaddy Hosting Connection page. And once we're in here, uh, you're going to see that uh, this is the location for GoDaddy's uh, applications that they have set up for easy installation and some support. But what we want is to go to the blog section or the options for blogs in the left hand margin. So you'll see we've got several different uh, options for blogs over here and the one we're going to be showing today is the WordPress blog. So we're going to be clicking on WordPress and you'll see when we do that uh, WordPress appears up at the top it shows the latest version 2.7.1 and what we want to do then is click on the install now button and that's going to take us into the installation process so once we're here again we're going to have to choose a, a domain actually let's see I'll choose uh, this one one of my affiliate accounts and click on next or actually uh, continue is what we need to do and then you'll see here where it gives us a description of the database that we're getting ready to install which is WordPress and we need to enter a password for the database so we'll select the password here we'll, we'll then have to verify the password and then we'll click on next All right, and uh, actually, they have a format for the passwords, and I needed to make an adjustment here with the password fields. So I'm just going to go back and retype in the passwords, then go back and click on next. It's going to ask us to verify that uh, the directory uh, for WordPress is going to be just the WordPress directory that's automatically created for you and that that's letting us know that we're going to be installing our WordPress blog into this directory and that's fine so we'll go ahead and click on next and now we have to go back and type in an admin name for this account now this is going to be separate from uh, the rest of the hosting this is strictly for administration purposes for for your blog so we have to go back in here and choose an admin name uh, we'll need to put in an admin password we'll need to verify the password uh, we need to set up an email address here as well for the administration of the blog So I'll just put something in here. This isn't something I'm going to be using really. So we'll just uh, select the blog title and then click on finish. And you'll see here where it now shows that uh, the installation request for the WordPress blog has been submitted. And that's really all we have to do as far as getting the process uh, of the WordPress set up. 
we go back and click on uh, return to home page in my applications and you'll see where now at the top here it shows us the installed applications and you can see where we've installed the WordPress blog and the current status um, is creating database which um, you can see shows up at, under the uh, or right next to the status column and then we can click on install uh, details and again it just gives us some more information here on the fact that the WordPress blog is now in the process of creation it usually takes about five or ten minutes and if we come back here uh, it'll show the installation has been completed and after that you can proceed to setting up your blog as far as the information and the pages and the content that you want to have in it and you're ready to go so that's it for this tutorial and come back and visit us at barrymontero.com for more great tips on how to get your internet marketing going.